behind me is the zero mile marker to the CNO Canal. In 2010, I made a video to show you how to get there. Thousands of you watched, thank you, and many of you found the zero mile marker as a result. Today, I'm gonna to show you two ways to get there and a bonus at the end of the video. And here it is, mile zero marker. We've already found it. Here are the GPS coordinates that you may enter on your phone to help find the mile zero marker. It's in Northwest DC next to the Georgetown waterfront. You may want to save a screenshot of this map and GPS coordinates to take with you. Let's go a step further and take a short virtual ride so you'll recognize your way when you go. The Kennedy Center next to the Potomac River is a super easy landmark to find. Heading north on the pedestrian and bike path, the next landmark right next door is the iconic Watergate Hotel. You'll find a small park to the left across the street from the Watergate where you can take a break, check your bearings, and get a glimpse of the Mile Zero location. Just past the park is the intersection of Virginia Avenue and Rock Creek Parkway. Here, the path splits. You'll see a sign for Thompson Boat Center. Keep bearing left all the way around it. You'll cross a small bridge over the Rock Creek Basin. It served as the endpoint of the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal with access to the Potomac River and to a canal extension that once flowed almost to the U.S. Capitol building. Continuing left, carefully make your way by Thompson Boat Center. It can be very busy at times, especially afternoons and weekends. Now you're at the canal tide lock. Make your way over the footbridge and you have arrived at the CNO Canal Mile Zero Marker. That's all you need to find it. But check out the two virtual approaches from the canal towpath heading toward Washington. And don't forget the bonus at the end. When you arrive at Fletcher's Cove about mile three, you have two choices to get to the mile zero marker. The traditional and historic ride continues along the CNO Canal towpath. If you want an easier, more direct route, take the parallel Capitol Crescent Trail. Your choice comes at Fletcher's Cove, where you'll see the historic Abner Cloud House on the left, older than the canal itself. To stay on the towpath, simply continue straight, left of the paved Capitol Crescent Trail.
The mile three marker tells you you're still on the towpath. This section of the gravel and dirt path is one of the heaviest used along the entire canal, so it can be fairly rough in places. Still, it's easy to ride with most bikes. The Capitol Crescent Trail is visible on the right, but it will gradually lose elevation next to the level towpath and disappear from sight after the mile two marker. Canal boats were actually raised and lowered from the Potomac River on an incline plane so they could bypass congested Georgetown. You can switch trails here, but there's an easier point ahead. We're already at mile two. Other than air traffic and some street noise, you don't feel you're riding through a busy city. Well, that's about to change. Just past the spillway is your last chance to access the paved Capitol Crescent Trail if you've grown tired of the towpath, but you'll miss Georgetown. We're closing in on the mile one marker and an important shift in the towpath you don't want to miss. Look for the mile marker just past Key Bridge. It's easy to pass by. Also easy to miss is this tiny sign at the Arlington Aqueduct Bridge. Here's where the towpath switches to the other side. It appears the wide towpath continues past the bridge, but it will soon dead end, leaving you wondering where to go. Access to the small bridge is steep on both sides. It's best to walk. Back in the day, boats were towed by mules and they crossed over using this bridge. This side has slippery loose gravel. The narrow single track follows the old foundations of what was once industrial Georgetown. You may even see a replica canal boat along the way. The gravel ends at 31st Street and changes on the other side to brick. Here's the CNO Georgetown Visitor Center on the left.
This is the end of the towpath. But where is the mile zero marker? There's a large CNO canal sign, a plaque on a stone, even a trailhead sign and a directional CNO marker, all seeming to indicate this is the end. It's not. From the towpath, make a right onto the Rock Creek Trail and follow it toward downtown. The path continues under a couple of bridges. On the right you'll see a parking lot. And then a sign for Thompson Boat Center. It's right over there! Go right at the sign and then bear left over the small bridge and carefully by the boat center. At the remnants of the CNO tide lock, make your way over the footbridge, and you have arrived at the mile zero marker. The Capitol Crescent Trail is also managed by the National Park Service. It's a paved rail trail, and for a couple of miles, it parallels the CNO Canal. Fletcher's Cove at CNO Mile 3.1 is where the trails intersect. Fletcher's Cove is a good place to take a break before making that final push into DC. The Abner Cloud House is here. Built in 1801 by a mill owner, it predates the canal by 27 years. The 184.5 mile canal has 75 locks, 11 aqueducts, and 241 culverts for streams and paths to pass underneath. There's a lot to see. It's also a good place to visit the snack bar before heading out. Bathrooms are here, tucked back in the trees. The Capitol Crescent Trail is accessed to the right of the crossover. The paved rail trail is mostly flat, some tree roots have pushed up from underneath. The Park Service has kept up with problem areas, but there's still some out there. The Capitol Crescent Trail parallels the CNO Canal until the last mile. It's more direct, and from Fletcher's Cove runs slightly downhill. The view is much different than on the CNO, more of a leaf tunnel with tall vegetation on both sides. You may see some wildlife too. Boundary Branch Culvert gives you a last chance to return to the CNO towpath if you decide to switch. There are some river views. The Alexandria Aqueduct once connected the CNO with Virginia by crossing the Potomac River. What's left marks the end of the Capitol Crescent Trail and the start of a bike path on K Street.
Almost at the end of the overpass, turn right at 30th Street. It's a wide brick promenade that leads to a giant sundial at the Georgetown waterfront. Here to the left. A quick right and left and carefully past Thompson Boat Center. Cross the footbridge at the tide lock and you have arrived at the CNO Canal Mile Zero Marker. There is an alternate route in case you miss the turn, keep going. Instead of turning right at 30th Street, bear left across the crosswalk and follow the path to the Rock Creek Trail. Turn right at the Thompson Boat Center sign and bear left across the bridge. Carefully pass the Boat Center over the footbridge at the tide lock and you have arrived at the mile zero marker. Now you've seen several ways to find the elusive Mile Zero Marker. To celebrate, here's a bonus at the other end of the canal. Well, it took a few minutes to come up to Cumberland to show you the other end point of the CNO Canal. If you took the time to take your picture by the mile zero marker, well, you might as well get the one at this end. I'll show you where it is. And this is the actual northern terminus of the CNO Canal. Just under the bridge is Canal Place. It has a great visitor center, worth your time to stop in. Several signs direct you to the canal towpath, but like in DC, none tell you where to find the granite end marker. To reach the mile 184.5 marker, you first have to follow a long pathway. If you are already on the towpath, it's much shorter past the bridge. But it's not obvious, and many people miss the marker because it's well below the towpath elevation. On the pathway, you're going the right way if you pass the replica canal boat. From the base of the bridge over the canal, we get the first sight of the marker. You'll also see it from that sidewalk on the right, but you still have to cross the bridge. The approach to Cumberland is on this gravel path it goes along the uh, very end of the canal. And you reach this point where there's signage and a bridge and even a sign that says bike trail to go on the bridge. But if you do that, you're going to miss the 184.5 mile marker, which is further down these tracks toward the highway. 
even have a sign here, wrong way for bike trail. Go back 20 yards and cross the bridge. With all respect to the sign, carefully follow the rail tracks until you see the crossover on the right. This is an active rail line, so you have to make sure that there are no trains coming when you pass. But you want to get to this little paved trail. Just make this sharp left and continue down the hill. And you can see the marker right at the end of the path. Clearly, the paved path is there for one reason. So there you have it. We've gone end to end on the CNO Canal. I hope this helps you find the markers and you get those great photos on either end. Enjoy the ride and thanks for watching. Also, please subscribe. You'll help this channel help other people find the Mile Zero Marker as well.